Hello Nigerians. My name is Wisdom Macaulay. I'm elder brother of Annie Macaulay Dibia. I'm crying out for help now. At this moment, my life is being threatened. I have been working with my sister for some time, but she will never pay me my dues. She would rather send me 20,000, 30,000, turn me to her slave. And at the end of the day, she can decide when she's angry to end it. Last, some weeks back, her husband sent me some money, gave me some money. I've been begging him for years. The money wasn't a, so much, but I used it to settle my home. I have a wife. Even states, I am sorry. They have not come to do the right thing. They have not come to me pay your daughter's dowry. It's not because I don't want to. It's because I've been manipulated for many, many, many years. Annie introduced me to drugs. Hard drugs. Annie takes drugs. She's a drug addict. She takes it every day. She is so violent. And what and it is the same thing, the same way she doesn't have peace with anybody. She quarrels everybody. She fights everybody. I defended her. I defended her because I love her as a sister. But I now realize that she doesn't even have love or any good intentions for me. I wasn't around for two weeks. I came back because I had my own issues I was trying to sort. I came back, begged my sister that we should continue with the things that, the work and everything. She decided to take everything away from me. She took away the job. She wouldn't give me a car. I've been begging my sister for a car to do Uber for many years now so that I can at least on my own provide for my family, provide for my wife and my three children. My sister has never responded to me. I came back to beg her, okay, let me continue with the job, the manager job that she offered me. She offered me to be her manager. But then at the end of the day, she turned me to her errand boy. She turned me to a slave. Annie is evil. Like, she will not... She, she doesn't want me to be able to stand on my own. Then this afternoon, after she sent me out of the house, I heard that she went on social media to say I beat her. Nigerians, if I beat Annie inside Two Faces' house, will I be able to sleep in Richmond Estate, in Legoshi, for one night? I was there for five, for six, for six days, begging my sister for an opportunity to work, opportunity to feed my children, opportunity to stand on my own, but she will not give me a chance. Every slight opportunity, she will call my wife and insult my wife. She insults everybody. She is violent. Every night she's on drugs. Every day she's on drugs. Even as she's reading this, even as she's hearing this now, she knows I am saying the truth that she's ordering for crack. She introduced me to it. I was never like this. And sometimes the thing got, get, got into my head. I believe that, okay, as a sister, maybe she had good intentions. If you go back to my previous pictures, this is not how I look. This is not who I am. At the end of the day, she now took away the only opportunity for me to be able to feed my own family from me because she doesn't want me to be able to stand on my own. This morning, I've been begging Annie for the least car in her, in her compound, the least car to do Uber, that at the end of the day, I'll come and drop it for her, at least to be able to provide for my family. My sister refused, and she got me frustrated when she told me I can no longer work with her, she will no longer help me. Just because I did not go for one week, of which I was calling her, the moment she realized that her husband gave me small money, she now, she blocked every means of communication with me and set me up to lose the only way that I can feed my children. Nigerians, I am crying. I am begging, I am begging for help. I just want to be able to stand on my own. As I when I was leaving her house, after she told me to leave this morning, I took the car with a mindset that I will use it for Uber and refund it to, and, and returning it back to her. But she sent her driver with some boys with knives. Nigeria, she sent her driver with knives and Godwin, her driver, with knife. They were hitting the car, hitting the car, so I was afraid. I did not know what was happening. I now parked the car somewhere and ran for my dear life. Nigerians, she now called the police to tow the car to Ogombo, Ogombo police station. As I'm speaking to you now, she has sent threats everywhere. My life is at risk. My wife's life is at risk. My family, my children, everybody's at risk. Please, I want Nigerians to know today that if anything happens to me or any member of my family, it is not far from Annie. I need help. 
please i need help i beg i beg i need help i cannot continue like this i'm scared i don't know what she's going to do next she's on drugs she's on drugs she's so violent annie is so violent annie is so ill-tempered annie is so angry with everybody she fights everybody from her in-laws even her own mother cannot talk to her even my wife doris she insults my wife at every slight opportunity because she's the one at the end of the day that will say, okay, take 20,000 naira and eat. And I only ask for an opportunity to be able to do something for myself. And the same car, she sent people that train almost killed me this afternoon. And now she has towed the car to the police station, Nigeria. Please, I need help. Please, please.